All right, so I've let about 15 minutes go by. It didn't get any warmer. I guess it's hard to see that, but it says it got to 43. It just turned to 44 degrees inside the house. That was the the lowest it would go. Um, sorry for the bad video, but it's uh, not enough light. 35 degrees outside. Currently, it's 44 in the house. The lowest it got was 43. I closed the door about five minutes ago because I wanted to have the true simulation of indoor tenting during freezing temperatures. Of course, it's not freezing right now, but I just want to show the difference. I put my adult son in this tent. Uh, he puts off a lot of body heat, and I put him in the tent about five minutes ago. And it's been sealed up with him, and so now I'm going to find out the difference. 44 in the house, and now I'm going to unzip the tent and find out what the temperature is. Now it's really important if you're going to build a heater from a lamp to use incandescent bulbs. The LED ones will not put off any heat. Alright, so I'm going to unzip it. Here we go. I'm going to first get the flashlight here. And I'm going to look at the temp inside. It is, let's see. About 50, see he did warm it up, he's climbing right now, about 56 degrees, so the difference is 10 degrees right now, or actually uh, 44, 50, actually it's 12 degree difference. Here he is, I'm not going to show his face, um, but I'm going to show some other features in here. This lamp, I'm going to turn a light on in here to show. Um, what kind of lamp I'm using, what kind of light I'm using. So I have a light up there in the top of the tent. Sorry. Camera, switch to flash on. All right, so here is the getup. It's just a computer, USB. It's just like a stereo or computer cooler fan. It's on the lowest setting and it is producing heat from that incandescent bulb that I have covered with aluminum foil. And I'm not sure what the temperature is, but it's uh, warm enough. I mean, right now it's even climbing higher. We've got 50, probably 50. Oh, it's climbing up to 59 degrees right now in here. And uh, so I think this is really working well. I'm going to see what the outside temperature is right now in the house. Okay, it's 45 degrees, almost 59 in there. So the difference there is quite, quite a lot. Um, 14 degrees right now difference. So I believe this situation with the tent is a very highly survivable. Uh, in a power outage. I recommend getting a solar ba battery for such an emergency and you can always during the daytime put it back uh, recharge it with the solar panel hopefully if there's some sun. I want to get another solar generator as a backup in case the first one loses all its power and is cloudy out. I think this is essential uh, for wintertime survival. I haven't figured out summertime survival yet, but this tent is, it's about 48 inches deep, 70 inches wide. It's an instant tent, so it just instantly goes up. There's no time involved. There's like one minute of setup. Uh, we have some comfortable things to put inside. If Should we ever really need to survive? I think this is the way to do it.